Okay, so now let's move on and talk about reality. Do you think the Niners will release Jimmy Garoppolo? No. I mean, they've said they won't, right? They've said no, they won't. Yeah. How could they turn around and cut him after they said he's going to be our quarterback next year? Oh, we were just kidding. No, and that's why they, if you listen to their wording, right, just listen to what they say. What they're telling you is because they're both honest people, Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, you just have to listen to the right things they say. And they say, well, yeah, unless there's an upgrade, he's our quarterback next year. And what they're telling you basically is they're going to play this situation as safe as possible because they don't want to just cut Jimmy Garoppolo, move on and watch Jimmy Garoppolo go to New England for a $12 million contract and totally tear it up and I mean, maybe he has another 2019 type season in terms of his numbers, which is a solid starter. And they once again win a ton of games because he's cheaper. He knows their that's, system. That's Bill Belichick's a great coach. That's right. A nightmare. Yeah. Right. And then you all get fired because Jay York's like, what are you doing? Right. And if, if you do, yeah. right. If yeah. you do it for the scenario you laid out and Andy Dalton goes eight and eight, it's 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 bad. Yeah. It looks bad, right? Even though I don't believe quarterback wins are a stat, I I, I, it just, it just looks bad, right? It's bad. So I don't think they'll release him in any capacity unless like, Hey, we got a trade for Matthew Stafford in place and uh, nobody really wants Jimmy or nobody, or people are not really negotiating to where we want for Jimmy. Cause we don't want to do it for a fifth or a fourth and we want to do it for a second and nobody wants to give us a second. Okay. When you cut Jimmy in that capacity, at least you can be super confident that with Matthew Stafford, you're going to be as good as you were with Jimmy in terms of record and you're going to be better in terms of his play right so i don't think they're going to release jimmy because of that those yeah. reasons i have another reason and it's more cynical but i think it's relevant cutting jimmy even though i think they could explain it to the fans and we could explain it to the fans that it's very much a financial thing this is very much because of the pandemic that if the pandemic hadn't happened and the cap continued to rise you wouldn't have to do this that he actually would be affordable. But because of the pandemic, this is a cap casualty move. Still, I feel like the way the Niners, it would look like they were admitting a mistake. It would look like they were admitting that trading for Jimmy Garoppolo and, and certainly giving him that contract was the wrong move. And I got to say that this, this regime has not been eager to admit any mistakes. The way that the Patriots do, the Patriots like, you know what? Wrong move. Moving on. Don't care. Sorry. Didn't work out. The Niners are like, nah, man. You're like, Solomon Thomas, let's we'll give you one more chance, man. Don Dante Pettis, maybe you just need another offseason. It seems to me it would be a departure from the way they do business. I I think I think that's definitely, definitely plausible. And I think it's real. It's not just something that you're throwing out there. And I don't even think it's frankly that cynical because I mean you you want to be right. And it's really hard to do what New England does, which is like just cut guys after two years that they drafted fairly high or what Trent Baalke did with AJ Jenkins, trade him after one year and basically say, well, I was wrong picking this guy 30th overall. Like that's the minute, the minute you cut uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, you lose the trade. Doesn't matter. Right. Doesn't matter what happened. You lost the trade. You traded for right. Jimmy Garoppolo. You cut him and he probably ends up back in new England for cheaper. He, uh, everyone it doesn't calls matter what New England got for him. Exactly. Everyone calls because it, he's no longer your franchise quarterback either. So yeah, I I, I think that's definitely a valid reason too. And and someone brought it up. So yeah. the entire trade thing with Jimmy, I think there was a question: Why do you think Jimmy would restructure? Well, why should Jimmy restructure? Right. I I just unless unless it's like they're going to keep him long term and stuff. I can't speculate what he's going to do on something that. John Lynch just said, I don't feel the need that we need to restructure him and all of that. So unless he's getting more money and stuff, I, I just don't understand why he should restructure. It's the not in the best interest of him. Oh, sorry. The only incentive there would be is for him to get more guaranteed money and more long-term uh, guaranteed stability. And the Niners aren't willing to give him that. That's the whole point. Right. Gonna, right. They want him to be cheaper and, and even more uh, easily movable. And I don't think that's what Jimmy wants. Right. Right. Because the other thing with the restructure is that even if Jimmy's willing to restructure, the reason the Niners didn't touch his contract last year is for the same reason they probably want, won't touch it this year. Because they're not 100% sold with him and they have an easy out. It's a it's basically a string of one-year contracts. That's what his contract is. Each year they can basically make a decision on him. So if you restructure and change it and give him more um, 
financial stability, give him more money, give him more years and all of that, you lose that leverage. And if he does end up starting three years in a row and you realize that, you know, he's not even the guy that we thought he was and stuff. You have, you're the Los Angeles Rams. You're just stuck with Jimmy G for three years, the way the Rams are stuck with Jared Goff. Who wants Jared Goff? The Rams don't even want Jared Goff. I want to finish this segment by making an impassioned plea to Kyle Shanahan and Sell. Kyle, I know you watch, especially Mondays with Vish. So here's what I want to say, man. We know what you think of Jimmy Garoppolo, and we freaking agree with you, all right? You made it real clear when you called eight passes in the NFC Championship game. You don't trust him. You don't. And I don't either. You want to move on? Great. You had the opportunity last year to probably trade that dude for a first round pick and replace him with Tom Brady. And you whiffed. You balked. I don't get it, man. Don't make that mistake again. I don't understand how you called eight passes in mid-January and then in mid-February were like, nah, I can't trade this dude for a first round pick and replace him with Tom Brady. That doesn't make any sense, man. If Go with your heart. Have some conviction, man. Man up and move on. It's your team, dude, not Jimmy's. Come on. 